Trevon St. Clair's mother told us her baby was just like any other baby, starting to say words, playing with his brother, and learning how to walk and balance. But that all changed the day after Mother's Day. He walked over to me and he sat down on my lap and just looked at me like direct eye contact and his eyes were darting back and forth like, you know, nothing I had ever seen before. The next day, when Jody Volbrock got Trevon out of bed for breakfast, he fell over. He couldn't stand on his own, was shaky, and his peculiar eye movements continued. He was referred to a pediatric neurologist in St. Louis who diagnosed him with acute cerebellar ataxia, which has a lot of the same symptoms as OMS. A couple days after we were sent home, his eyes did quit moving, but his balance just continued to get worse. I mean, it got to the point where he wasn't able to sit up by himself anymore. Days later, Trevon stopped responding to stimuli. He began spacing out, and his eyes were rolling up in his head. The family headed back to the St. Louis neurologist who conducted several tests. The doctor found a mass on Trevon's adrenal gland and diagnosed him with neuroblastoma, which sometimes goes along with OMS. That finding eventually led to the OMS diagnosis. How has this changed your and his life? A lot. I mean, he, before all this happened, he was just, you know, any regular little toddler. You know, he was all over the place, running around, you know, perfectly. He was just happy all the time. You know, now it's like we really have to work with him for him to be in a good mood. He, you know, he can't run and play. Now, Trevon's mother has joined an online support group with other parents across the country whose kids also have OMS. She wanted to get her story out there because she says the disease oftentimes goes misdiagnosed. Most of the time it's diagnosed as a, a cerebellar ataxia. And, you know, if, if your child would happen to be diagnosed with that, you know, check into it more. Because, you know, it's a lot of the other parents I've talked to with their kids had the same thing. Their kids started out being misdiagnosed with the cerebellar ataxia. And I thanked her for letting us know about this disease. We had never heard of it. Tonight at 10 we'll have more about what OMS is and what to look for if you suspect your child might have it.